Have you just got your beautiful new iPhone Air? Let's walk through the complete step-by-step -step setup process from unboxing to activation and just let's get it ready to use. So right after unboxing, let's take off the protective film. And then just press and hold over the power button to turn it on. It'll show the Apple logo and with hello in different language, it'll go straight into setup mode. Now first, you're gonna choose the language from the list and then select your current region. As you can see, you'll be prompted to choose the appearance for better visibility. Choose the one that best suits you. We're just keeping it to default. I'm going to the next section. As prompted, you can transfer data from any of your nearby devices if you want, but we're setting it up as a new device. Now, after that, if you want, you can connect your device to the nearby Wi-Fi network. But if you are setting up your air outside your home, don't worry, you can switch Wi-Fi later from settings as well. Alright, so as you can see, you can update iOS or software right from here right now. But you know, it might take a couple of hours. So for now, I'm going to just stick to the setup and going next. Don't worry, you can install software later from the settings as well. Press continue to data and privacy. Now, you gotta select the age range just in case you feel setting it up for your kids or maybe for yourself. I'm choosing adult. The next, you'll be prompted to set up your face ID, which by the way, you can also set up later in the settings, but I'm just going to follow the on-screen prompts and just set up my face ID. Now, after setting up the face ID, you'll be prompted if you wanna set up an alternate face ID with or without mask. You can do it right now, or you can also do it later in settings. So I'm gonna just skip it for now. Now, since I've set up a Face ID, and if you've done it as well, you'll have to create a screen lock for your iPhone Air. Now, from the Options section, you can check out different options and select the type, numeric or alphanumeric, four digits, stuff like that. Whatever you want as your screen lock. Just go ahead and set it up. Now, next, you'll be prompted to transfer apps and data. Now, since I don't want to transfer anything, I'm just choosing Don't Transfer going forward. Now you'll be prompted to sign into your Apple ID if you have got an existing one. You can also tap on other sign-in options and you can use another device to log in. You can use multiple Apple IDs. If you do not want to sign in or don't have an ID right now, just tap on the forgot option. And as you can see, you can set it up later in settings or you can create a brand new Apple ID right now, right here. So we have an existing Apple ID. So I'm going to just go back one step and I'm going to just sign into the Apple ID. It's always recommended to sign into your Apple ID while setting up for your iPhone security purpose. If you have logged in after that, just agree to the terms and condition. And then you'll have another transfer prompt. Just press continue. Select whether you want to update your iPhone Air automatically or manually. Now next, you'll be prompted to set up your cellular. Now, what you can do is either set it up later in the settings, or if you want, you can go ahead, follow the prompts, and activate your eSIM on your iPhone Air. And at the last stage to set up cellular, just tap on the continue button. Now next, you'll get an Apple Pay setup prompt. If you want, you can set it up right now or later, whatever you want. Next, you'll be prompted to set up Apple Intelligence. It's a really handy feature. So you can either set it up later in settings or right now, your call. So if you're gonna set it up Apple Intelligence, some features like notification summary, prioritize notifications, and also the camera control options, customizing action button, everything will be on your screen one after another. And if you want, you can customize them right now. But don't worry if you skip it right now, you can set up every single thing right from your settings. Now, along with Apple Intelligence, you'll also be prompted to set up Siri. If you're setting it up right now like us, just follow the prompts along with your voice commands as appear on your screen. Now, after that, you're going to select whether to share your voice recordings with Apple or not. And some more prompts will be on your screen. Just press continue. You're almost done, trust me. And as I say, that's it, you are all set. Just tap on get started. And that's your newly set up beautiful iPhone Air. Just go ahead and explore it as you want. And let us know your experience with it in the comments. Peace out.